Hello, my name is Bruce Demetrius Lee, and I'm about to go over a few stoichiometry problems and as far as converting grams to moles to particles and what have you. And I am a member of Challenge 2009. Let us begin. In our first problem, we have convert 0 0.45 moles into atoms. Now, if we look up top here, a simple roadmap to follow is that you go from grams to moles to particles. And when you go from grams to moles, you get your masses off of the periodic table chart. And when you go from mole to particles, you use Avogadro's number. Okay, so down here, you always start with what is given. We were given 0 0.45 moles, so that's what we start with, over 1. And we're going to particles. So it's a simple one-step problem. 0 0.45 moles over 1 times Avogadro's number over 1 mole. Make sure that your units are the same diagonally. Multiply those out, and you get 2.7 e to the 23. Sorry about that, we had Michael Jackson up. In our next problem, in our next problem we're converting 13 grams of FeBr3 to moles. Okay, once again, look up at your roadmap, going from gram to mole to particles. In this one we're going from grams to moles, so we're going to get our mass off of the chart. So we write down what's given, 13 grams, and then times moles. And then, once again, make sure that your units cancel each other out diagonally, leaving you with what you want, which is moles of FeBr3. Multiply, the, well, divide in this case. Multiply and divide, and you will get approximately 0 0.044 moles of FeBr3. And our final problem, we are given the equation 2 moles of C6H14 plus 19 oxygens yield 12 moles of carbon dioxide plus 14 moles of H2O. Our problem is calculate the mass of O2 required to completely react with 13 grams of C6H14. Alright, we are given 13 grams of C6H14, so we're going to start with that over 1. Okay, and we are going to the mass of O2. In this case, our roadmap is going to be a little different. We're going to have to go from grams to mole to mole to grams. So we're going to start off with 13 over 1, and we're going to convert that into moles, and we're going to get our grams of C6H14 off of the chart. And then we're going to convert to moles again, but this time we're going to get both of the moles off of the equation, from the equation that we were given. And we were given 19 moles of oxygen and 2 moles of C6H14. So we're going to put those in place. Once again, make sure that all your units cancel each other out diagonally. And then we're going to convert from moles to grams of O2. And we're going to get that mass off of the chart, off of the periodic table. And we're going to put that over one mole of O2. So we're going to multiply the top out. And then we're going to divide it by everything on the bottom. And we should get approximately 46 grams of O2. And that is my short mini lecture for you all. Hope that you can hear me and not the Michael Jackson playing in the background. And thank you.